Hi folks, James at Leighton Vans. Look what we have here, something very special. So this is a um, new 204 DSG T6 Combi, okay? Short wheelbase with the matte gray wrap. So this is a special one-off wrap, okay? In the matte gray. So um, the color it was previous was Indian gray. So um, it's not an unusual color. If you were to take the map off, it is Indian grey underneath. But with the map, map wrap, it makes it look a lot more. I think it looks. Uh, I think it looks brilliant. What are your thoughts on it, guys? So, um, on the uh, matte grey wrap van, we have the ABT front styling um, with the uh, blue inserts. Okay, so this is genuine ABT apt. And spec-wise, on here we have the front parking sensors. We've got the adaptive cruise control. We've got the um, front LEDs as well. Okay, now put those on for you. So if you have currently got a van without the LEDs, the difference between um, the LEDs and non-LEDs is a massive difference. You know, these really do brighten up the road having the LEDs. So really, really good option to have on the van. So as I mentioned, this is uh, a brand new vehicle. Okay, it's got 130 miles on there. It's also got the full LV Sportline pack on, which includes the 20 inch alloy wheels. Okay, and with it being the 204, we have got the bigger brake calipers as well. So the 150s will be slightly smaller. We've got the black trapezoid um, sidebars on here. Okay, so a bit, little bit different to the, um, to the circular ones we do. So some of the vans will have circular some of the vans will have the uh, trapezoid ones. We've also got the black roof bars on there. This van also has twin electric sliding doors. Onto the interior, we've got the comfort dash, or so the more car-like dash. We've got the heated seats, heated windscreen, which is standard, sat navigation, app connect, so that mirrors your phone. Um, we, like I said, we've got the, the comfort dash, so your cup holders are in here. Okay, bit of storage under there. There are your controls for your heated windscreen, heated seats. We've got the two seats on, up front, which are in the small diamond blue stitch leather with the R design. Okay, I get asked a lot, where's the... Uh, how, how do you put your fuel in? Open the passenger door slightly open the fuel cap okay and if you didn't know these vehicles are now on uh, on, on AdBlue so um, basically it's a separate tank to the diesel you can purchase it from any petrol station or any garage um, it comes with like a funnel on the top tip it in it'll tell you on your dash how many miles you've got in it it won't start if you haven't got any in okay so twin electric doors we've got a button on each side of the key which will do each side of the door okay we've then got the light switch on the interior which will operate the uh, front two LEDs and then there is a light switch in the back for the uh, for the rear lights we've got the two plus one seating configuration so really easy to take those seats as, uh, out as well I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how easy it is to take those seats out so we pull the cable there we pull the seat down we pull that handle there there's a handle at the back lever at the back we pull that that's out I, I basically just need to lift that out okay really easy to put back in as well the double seat is just as easy you may need a, a hand getting it out purely because of, of the arm length I personally got it out um, by myself but like I say it's a bit tricky sort of getting it out so if I did have someone help me I'd have probably ask them to be honest but um, yes double seat here cable there and then there's two cables at the back which you would then pull which would release it just a bit like the, the single seat. So they come out and a lot of customers will, you know, want to put a, an airbed in the back. So to take those seats out and put an airbed in, it's not a problem. I've personally slept in the back of my van uh, numerous times um, and a double airbed will fit um, just nice in there. Okay, so moving round to the, to the rear. We've also lowered the vehicle 40 mil, which is part of the, uh, the LV Sportline kit. 
Okay, it's a tailgate model. Okay, and it's also got all the lining and stuff done on the inside. So it is an electric tailgate. Now, because I was stu stood too close to it then, it wouldn't open on the key. So, which is good because it means that if you are too close and you hit the key by accident, it's not going to open on a, a wall or a car behind you, let's say. So, to the rear, we've firm aligned, we've insulated, and we've, um, you know, put the suede panels in there. Those two motors you can see there are motors. These boxes here are motors for the, uh, for the electric doors. And then there's a light switch just there, which will operate the two lights above. You've got four anchor points in a short wheelbase, in a long you have six, but this is a short wheelbase and pretty much ready to go. So, button there to release the, uh, the tailgate. I'll take it back in for you. Got the rear camera on there, as I mentioned, it's got the rear parking sensors standard. We've got the rear, uh, rear LEDs. We've got the electric folding door mirrors. Um, as I mentioned, this van is ready to go. So all that would require is a couple of days notice so we can machine polish it, ready for collection. Um, but pr plenty more uh, new vans in stock. We've got used vans in stock, all sorts of colors. But like I say, this is a one-off. This is matte gray. Um, and it looks, it looks the bee's knees, to be fair. So thanks for viewing, guys. Any questions, just get in contact. Thank you.